as you walk onto the beach, you often see this big blue ocean in front of you. And then as rock and surf anglers, we talk about water reading. So you stand on the beach, you gotta read the water, read the situation in front of you and determine where to fish, what species to target, etc., etc. So we, in previous videos, we spoke about some other facets of water reading and I'm gonna concentrate on the holes today. All right, so for me, the way I, I, I describe a hole, it's a, a, a piece of deeper water in between sandbanks and within the area looking at, there might be three or four or five holes or just one hole. So very easy to see, you look for the deeper water where the waves aren't breaking and generally that is a hole. I personally like fishing holes late afternoon into the evening. I just find that often those bigger fish come in, they, they patrol those holes and they work from the deep water, they cut over the banks, they patrol the edges of sandbanks looking for food. So I like fishing holes, especially along our KZN coastline, late afternoon into the evening or maybe early morning when it's still a bit darkish. Often find our big flat fish and shark, etc., in those deep holes. During a day, if the water is crystal clean, you might find the odd big fish in a hole, but generally your smaller fish will be hiding on those sandbanks away from the holes. So once again, it takes experience, knowing what species are around, um, what time of the year is, to determine what species you're gonna target and all. But in general, I would say, when we fish holes, we fish for big fish, big flat fish, big sharks, and some big edible fish. This is aimed at the new anglers out there, guys who are learning to fish, and I really hope this helps you. Improve your water reading skills, and you'll catch lots more fish.